The city of Indianapolis is welcoming in dozens of breweries from all across the country and actually around the world tonight, all ahead of the third annual Canvitational Craft Beer Celebration tomorrow. And more and more, Indy is making a name for itself among those schooled in malt, barley, and hops. A packed parking lot Friday afternoon, rain falling, but the sun is still shining inside of Indianapolis's Sun King Brewing Company. I think that people have been really starting to take note of what's happening in Indiana. The growth in our industry over the last five, six years has been huge. Sun King co-founder and co-owner Clay Robinson and Sun King's crew of 60-plus employees are also playing host this weekend as the Hoosier State welcomes in 55 of the most acclaimed craft brewers from across the country and two from Great Britain who can instead of bottle. We've got our whole staff available today to show these brewers around, take tours of the facility, and it's a largely a meet and greet and kind of an exchange of information and ideas among our industry. It's the passion. It's the passion for making a beer that is, is uh, so creative and is so full of flavor. It, you know, these guys are putting their heart and soul in this drink, and it's the best, it's the best uh, beverage ever, beer is, you know. Chris German's Minnesota-based company sells supplies and ingredients to craft breweries nationwide and revels in Indiana's growing reputation worldwide. And I was here uh, about a few months ago, and, and, they, and, and in that time, new breweries have opened up. And so, like, it's hard to keep up with them all. I think that overall, people are starting to look at and respect what we've got going on in Indiana as a craft beer community. Several will be in the spotlight Saturday. Just don't ask Robinson to pick a favorite. My favorite craft beer that's not Sun King. Sorry, I'm gonna have to give me you're gonna have to give me a second. Hard question. It is a hard question. I'm like, <laughs> hmm. Took a long time for him to get the answer. He finally did. It's a beer called Zwickle from St. Louis-based Urban Chestnut. It'll be there tomorrow along Georgia Street in the Pan Am Plaza with everyone else from one to five. Details and ticket info both posted now at theindychannel.com.